Thanks for choosing Domain Laser Channel Letter Welding Machine. Now let's see how to install the whole system when you receive the machine. Step 1. Install Laser Chamber. Loosen the four screws on the top of Laser Chamber, just as our technician did. Embed the chamber into the slot and push it toward the table. You might need a hand to do this job. When you find the chamber in a suitable working position, tighten the four screws you just loosened. Step 2. Activate optical system. Insert the two poles into the small holes on both ends of the condenser cavity. Put on their own caps and take off the two sticker seals to activate the optical system. Then you can close the lid. Step 3. Connect water chiller. There are two pipes coming out of the chamber. Just pick one of them randomly to connect with inlet of water chiller and the other with outlet. Then open the tank and fill 20 liters deionized water or drinking water into the chiller. Step 4. Install observing system. Please watch this part carefully and do exactly the same. The observing system consists of LED lamps, monitor, and camera. So there are three power lines totally, with a separate signal wire connecting camera and monitor. Just make sure all of them are correctly plugged, as our technician did. Step 5. Install external devices. Firstly, connect the foot pedal and place it within the distance your feet can reach.
Then connect the chiller alarm just in case the water is out of supply or overheat. Step 6. Connect power supply. The power supply of laser welder and water chiller are separate, but both of them require 220 volts. The two red wires are live wire, the blue and black ones are zero line. After turning on the air switch, it's time to operate. You'll find the control panel beneath the working table. But first of all, you must turn on the chiller and let it run for at least two minutes until the water temperature dropped. Normally, we set 20, 25 Celsius degree as the target value. When time's up, you can start the laser machine by twisting the red emergency button and turning the case switch. At the beginning, you'll find the dash cursor displays open, but when you press OK, it appears close, which means the machine is ready now. You may select any parameter you want to change and adjust the value by plus or minus button. For stainless steel, we need current around 80 and pulse width around 3. To do spot welding or before you are proficient enough to weld fast, you just need a low frequency like 5 Hz. When your skills get better, you can do continuous welding at 15 Hz or higher. The small red button is switch for a red pointer. Turn off the LED, you will see the red pointer clearly. Now you can adjust the angle or position of laser head so that the red pointer is just beside locating rod, as close as possible. This wheel can lift and lower laser chamber to get the right focus and the foot pedal is the trigger of laser. During welding test, you need to observe the screen and make sure the image is clearest and uh, the crosshair is just in the center of the melting pool. If not, you may adjust the observing system by the three screws on right side of the camera. Then try lifting and lowering the laser chamber until you see the flame brightest and hear the sound loudest. After all these procedures, the machine is 100% ready to use. Let's put the wall tape on face plate. Make sure they are perfectly matched. At the same time, watch the monitor and make sure the crosshair is just on the line to be welded. You may use this knob to regulate. And there is another knob beneath the laser chamber, which is used to move the chamber left or right. The black knob is for facula adjustment. Under a same current, the bigger the facula is, the weaker the single energy is, and vice versa. For different materials, you should choose different parameters. Generally speaking, the workpiece will be more solid when given higher current or higher pulse width. But, uh, but don't overdo, for you might get laser breaking through the material. When you finish welding, firstly, make the dash cursor unclose and press OK. Secondly, turn case switch back and push emergency stop. 
then turn off the chiller and air switch. If you still have any question, please contact our service department. Thanks for watching.